Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to see about how to compile and install Gromax natively on Windows, which means without using of Linux distribution like Ubuntu. We are not going to use Windows subsystem for Linux also. We are going to use only Windows. You can either use Windows 10 or Windows 11 or Windows 7 also. It will work on all Windows operating systems. So first of all, we need some of the requirements before compiling the Gromax. The first one is the Visual Studio Build Tools 2022. So go to this link that is visualstudio.microsoft.com. This is the official website. You can download the Visual Studio 2022 Community Edition. This is free to download. So you can download the Community Edition. So click on this link free download. And it will start downloading the Visual Studio automatically. Since I have downloaded and installed already. I am not going to download now. So we have successfully downloaded the Visual Studio and installed it also. After installing the Visual Studio, go to the start menu and open the Visual Studio installer. The Visual Studio installer will be opened now. So after opening this uh, Visual Studio Build Tools 2022, click on Modify. There will be four options. So click on Modify. Now you should install the desktop development with C++. By default, this will not be installed. You should install by clicking on this checkbox. Okay. The installation details will be displayed on right hand side. You no need to change any of this. Okay. Just tick the checkbox and click on modify. It will download and install the desktop development with the C++ modules. After successfully installing this, close this window and close this installer also. So that's all. We have installed the Visual Studio Build Tools 2022. Next, we need the FFTW. FFTW is also available as source code, but in this link, you can download the pre compiled FFTW Windows DLLs. Okay, so go to this link fftw.org slash install slash windows.html. Download this 64 bit version. Okay, this is the 64 bit version. So, download this file fftw 3.3.5 dll 64.zip so after clicking on this it will start to download i have downloaded this already so i am not going to download again open the downloads folder okay this is the file that we have downloaded now extract this folder into C drive or any other location. I am going to use the C drive. So extract this. You can use any location, but make sure there are no spaces in the path and click on extract. After extraction, you can see the FFTW 3.3.5 is extracted in this folder. All the files will be present here. There are uh, 23 files in this folder. Okay. Next, download the Gromax 2023 version. For that, go to this link. Okay. And click on the Gromax 2020-23 source code. If you click on this, it will start downloading the Gromax okay, source code. So now the Gromax source code is downloaded. I have already downloaded it. This is the source code that we are going to compile now. Okay. So extract this Gromax 2023 source code. This is the archive file. Extract into the C drive into a separate folder. I have already extracted into this folder gromax 2023 here you have all the files the another requirement is the python okay 
so download the python also go here and download this python 3.12.0 download any latest version or you can go to microsoft store to download the python okay after opening the microsoft store search for python so you can download the python from this also now we have successfully installed all the requirements now you should open the visual studio command prompt to open the visual studio command prompt go to start menu and type vs 2022 and you will see the x64 native tools command prompt for vs 2022 so click on this command prompt don't open the normal command prompt you should open the vs 2022 x64 command prompt after opening this command prompt navigate into the fftw folder okay now we are inside the fftw folder so give this command after giving this command press enter this command will generate the library file for the fftw now you can see there are two files that are generated one is a library file and another one is the object file these are the two files these two files we need to generate by using this command see now there are 25 files in this fftw folder now just navigate to the gromax folder now we are in the gromax source code folder after you are in the source code folder type these commands set cc equal to cl set cxx equal to cl and check whether cl is correctly installed or not okay just to type cl and give enter now you can see the cl is successfully installed along with the microsoft vs 2022 after giving these two commands give this command to generate the build files for the gromax this command will generate the build files that are necessary to compile the gromax okay c make dash g n make make files dash s this is the source code folder which is nothing but the current folder so we are giving dot dash b this is the build folder in this folder the build files will be generated so that is dot slash build this folder will be created here then dgmx gpu equal to off we are not going to use the gpu and dgmx fft library equal to fftw3 and the build type is release then shared libraries equal to off then fftw include directory we are going to give this path to the fftw folder and remember to give the front slash okay when you are using the path don't use the backslash for the paths okay fftwf library is equal to this file that we have generated in the previous step so make sure you are using the front slash for the path then give enter to generate the build files this will take few minutes to generate the build files 
you can see here there is a folder called build that is created when you go inside the build files will be generated in this folder Now the build files are generated successfully. You can see here. The important file is this file, make file. Okay. Now you can see in the command prompt, build files have been returned to this path. Okay. Now we have successfully generated the build files for the Gromax. Next step is to build the Gromax from this build files. For that, navigate into the build folder. Now we are inside the build folder. After navigating into this build folder, give this command nmake. That's all. No need to give any arguments. Just give enter. It will start compiling the Gromax from this build files. Okay. It will take a lot of time from 30 minutes to 3 hours. So please wait until the compilation is done. I will come back once this is completed. Welcome back. It took more than an hour and the build process is now completed. You can see there is a, there is a file called gmx.exe that is generated inside the bin folder. Okay. Now the process is completed. Now we need to move some files and folders. After that the gmx install will be completed. Now as you can see there is gmx.exe inside this build folder and inside this library folder you will see some libraries gromax and gmx some libraries are present okay. Now you need to create a folder for the gromax install for that I am going to use the C drive itself. In this Gromax-2023 folder, there is a, in this folder the source code and the build files are present. Okay. Now we are going to make another folder for placing the Gromax binaries. I am going to name this as GMX install. Okay. From the build folder, copy two folders. One is the bin, another one is the library. Copy these two folders and paste here. Okay. Now 
in the Gromax source code folder this is this Gromax source code folder here you will have the folder called share you copy this share folder and paste here now go into this share folder and you will see these two folders template and top okay now create a new folder called gromax and move these two folders inside this gromax folder that's all now you need to create an another file to access the gromax name this file as gmx rc dot bat and edit this file inside this batch file give these commands first one is the bin folder in the new in the new gmx install folder first one is the c slash gmx install slash bin second one is the gmx install slash share slash gromax okay then save this file after saving this file now we need to copy one more file that is present in the fftw folder so go to fftw folder fftw 3f dash 3 dot dll and copy this and paste here in the bin folder now the gmx install is uh, almost completed now you will also need one more requirement that is called visual c plus plus redistributable package for that go to this link search for visual c++ redistributable and go to this link latest supported visual c++ redistributable downloads and download these versions 2015 17 19 and 22 all these are present in a single file so download this x64 version okay click on this and you will download a file called this one go to the downloads folder and install this vc redistributable file i have already installed okay so i'm going to close now the gmx install is now completed so after uh, completing this installation you should not remove the gromax 2020-23 source code folder and the build folder okay mainly you should not remove this build folder so that's all now the gromax install is completed now you can use gromax by launching this batch file after launching this batch file give this command gmx you will find the gromax install is completed successfully okay you can see the executable this in this location and uh, data on the working directory is represented here and you can see the options this gromax install will not give you the much performance this type of Gromax install on Windows will not give you much performance because we haven't used the GPU and we haven't used the parallelization options also. But this is more than sufficient for uh, learning the Gromax commands. Okay, from this you can learn Gromax without uh, installation of the Linux distributions. From this you can get familiar to the Gromax and the molecular dynamic simulations that's all about a chromax installation natively on windows in the next videos we will see about how to use 
Chrome Max on the Windows. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubts, please post in the comment section.